Hello, everybody, and welcome to Glio and Neuronal Biology of the Aging Brain, a joint symposium of the Aging Brain Initiative and the Alana Down Syndrome Center here at MIT. I am Li Wei Tsai, Picard Professor of Neuroscience here at MIT and Director of the Aging Brain Initiative and the Alana Center. We are delighted you have joined us for this exciting program, which will explore not just the pathology of a number of neurodegenerative disorders, as well as those associated with Down syndrome, but also highlight common themes and threads that run through them. And just as important as the fantastic talks that we will feature in our sessions this afternoon and tomorrow morning will be the discussions that we hope they stimulate. Many people don't know, even in the Alzheimer's field, about 50% of people with Down syndrome will have Alzheimer's by the age of 50. And virtually all of them have high amyloid by middle age. Our belief is that the study of the aging brain can learn a great deal from the study of Down syndrome and vice versa. It will be a wonderful outcome of the symposium if we can play even a small role in bringing these two communities of scientists, physicians, and engineers, and even caregivers closer together. Both of these fields are fast moving and new revelations are emerging all the time. At the beginning of this year, for example, my lab led by former postdoc Hirui Meharina who is now at UC San Diego, published a study identifying a senescence-like phenotype in neuroprogenitor cells with trisomy 21. Indeed, labs all over the world, including some who are represented on our program today, are producing marvelous insights into understanding connections between Down syndrome and Alzheimer's disease. A remarkable aspect of the speakers who will join us today and tomorrow is the diversity of scales and systems in which they are working. Neurodegeneration, brain aging, and Down syndrome are not easy problems to decipher. They are certainly not proving to be as simple as we might have once hoped. We need brilliant people and innovative approaches to make the progress that is so urgently needed to help patients and their families. I am so grateful, not only for this community of dedicated colleagues, but also for the people who support this work. Here at MIT, we have been blessed to have the support from the Alana Foundation, led by Ana Lucia Valella, who in 2019 endowed the Alana Down Syndrome Center. I want to thank Anna Lucia and her family for their tremendous generosity, vision, and partnership. The center not only supports a scientific research and fellowships in four labs across MIT, but also funds programs to advance the development of assistive technologies. The center's goal is to improve inclusion and opportunity for people with Down syndrome. And I also like to thank the many generous donors who have contributed to the Aging Brain Initiative at MIT. Their support has galvanized a community of neurodegeneration research across MIT, helping to build collaborations and to support innovative ideas and approaches at an early stage. This year, we were thrilled to award five competitive C grants around the Institute to launch new research projects. Today, we will hear five talks with a break in between. Each lasts half an hour, including time for questions. If you'd like to submit a question, please use the Q&A box on your screen. Tomorrow, we will reconvene at nine o'clock local time. We hope you will join us again, not only for the talks, but also for a virtual poster session. 
And now it is my great pleasure to introduce our moderator, Ravi Raju. Dr. Raju is a terrific postdoctoral researcher in my laboratory and a physician at Boston Children's Hospital. Last year, he co-led an exciting paper that identified MEF2 as a gene promoting cognitive resilience and, and amid Alzheimer's pathology. Ravi, thank you for moderating today's program. Thank you, Larry, for that kind introduction. Uh, I'm equally as excited, uh, as you mentioned, uh, to hear all of the talks today. And, and just as Leeway mentioned, please, if you have a question, uh, chat it, uh, place it in the chat box. Um, and if you see a question that is one that you also have, uh, feel free to upvote it. So that way I'll know um, that it's a question that multiple people have in the audience and try to bring that to the speakers. 